Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the year 2018, India had signed a contract worth Rs 35,000 crore to purchase 5 squadrons of S-400. 3 out of 5 squadron has already been delivered and 2 more are slated to be delivered by the year 2023-24. However, reports suggest it will be delayed due to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. The prolonged Russia-Ukraine war and the embargo by the West nations has continuously depleted the stock of spares and missiles and limited the Russia's production capability. As reported by Defense One, the PLA Air Force has also used a subsidiary to deliver the critical components for Russia's S-400 missile defense system. The deliveries also included navigation equipment for Russian Mi-71 helicopters for which China now runs a maintenance center. In new technology areas, China has provided at least $12 million in drone and drone parts since the war began. In February, the Chinese firm AVIC International delivered 1.2 million in parts for Russia's Su-35 fighter which China began operating in the year 2018 and has been studying for its own fighter jet development program. Now, recently in an interview to ABP News, the ex-Air Chief Marshal Arkes Bhadoria has said that the Indian Air Force has planned 10 S-400 surface to missile defense system. The next five squadrons of S-400 will be made in India and will be an indigenous capability development which is happening in parallel. The integration of S-400 with ground-based airborne assets is going to greatly boost the Indian Air Force capability with limited resource. Now, this is the first time when such news came in light. The ongoing procurement of S-400 was earlier under scandal of Katsa Act. The 5 more squadron of S-400 is definitely going to upset US. Considering the vast geography of India, it needs more than 10 S-400-like surface to missile system to have effective defense as well as offensive capability. However, the important question is, does India need to import system like S-400 or can it develop similar systems? At present, India does not have capabilities similar to S-400. However, DRDO is working on ERATS or Extended Air Defense System, which can provide capability and protection similar to S-400. ERATS is going to be a mobile, all-weather, multi-launch and network-centric air defense system just like S-400. The new SAM system will be able to detect and engage fighter jets, low radar cross-sections aircraft, bomber, refueler, airborne early warning aircraft, hail and mail UAVs, even cruise missiles. As a part of DRDO's ERATS, two missiles are being developed. The first one is going to be an indigenous version of Barak ER or Barak Extended Range Missile, which will be called as ERSAM or Extended Range Surface to Air Missile, having a range of nearly 150 kilometers. The second missile is going to be XRSAM or Extra Long Range Surface to Air Missile, with range of nearly 300 kilometers. Each mobile launchers of ERATS will be able to carry two ERSAM and two XRSAM missiles. Each firing unit of ERATS will consist of four ERATS launcher and each launcher will consist of two ERSAM and two XRSAM missiles. Each firing unit will have one S-band search and track radar, one X-band fire control radar and one X-band mast mounted radar for tracking low-flying targets. While ERATS is not exactly a one-to-one -one replacement of S-400, however, it is going to be an indigenous effort to develop system with capability like S-400. Even if India decides to go ahead with additional S-400 procurement, it will take few years, at least two to three years, to commence the delivery of new squadrons. Therefore, the focus should be to fast track the development of ERATS program to avoid another billion dollar procurement. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.